we are out in the Grand Cayman Islands today. see we already came from right over there it's quite a journey you'll see it eventually in a GoPro we're over here at Kaibo and Starfish Point and it's looking beautiful today you can see if Ronald or Ashley goes right over there there's a, a starfish in the water and starfish like to gather all around here check out bioluminescent bay, but you're not gonna be able to see any bioluminescence because, well, it's not dark. We'll show you a couple of houses we've stayed in. All right, I'm sorry, it's still windy, but uh, this is bioluminescent bay. So all of this in here, that has bioluminescence in it. So at night, it'll light up, the moon is just right and you kind of run your hand through it or your swim through it. Uh, I should have stayed in that house for our honeymoon. We've also stayed in that blue house, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. All along the shoreline, if there were waves at night or anything, you just see it light up. So as you can see in the GoPro footage, we are uh, going nice and slow through all of this because it's super shallow. You can see the bottom through here and you know, when you're traveling an ocean area for the first time, you don't really know where you're gonna run ashore, but that's what makes it pretty fun. This is gorgeous. Next, we're gonna head out to Stingray City and we're gonna see if it's calm enough for us to feed some stingrays. Sorry guys, we had to abandon squid feeding today. Um, it's a little bit uh, choppy. We don't have a very big boat. So uh, there are white caps out there and we didn't really want to die. So we're abandoning ship. This little pocket, it's a marine protected area called Stingray City and there are just a bunch of three foot, four foot stingrays out there that you can feed. So that's what we have behind us or behind me back there. There's squid. Um, so you can actually just feed them and hold them and whatever else. They're pretty sweet. We've done it a few times. So we were gonna do that today, but it was way too windy and wavy and we didn't wanna die. We're actually just taking a channel down into the island a little further. We got mangrove trees on the side. Oh, man, what a great place for birthing fish. Right, Mike? That's what we learned when we had our crazy mangrove tour. Um, yeah, so we'll just wander on down here and go get some lunch quick. Oh. I know. I almost didn't bring you guys to Kimana Bay. I just told you about it and then I realized, oh, they actually probably want to see it. 
because that's not very cool to just say that it's the more industrial side, commercialized size of Cayman, if I can talk and then not get you. So I actually went to the restaurant. I left you here on the boat, but don't worry, I'm back with you. Don't worry, I'm here. So this is Cayman Bay. This is more commercialized area because we got EY over there. They got a campus. Uh, Sitco's got a campus. I believe Dart has a campus here. And they kind of built everything around this. Because when we were here 12 years ago, they were just kind of adding buildings here. So this is only 15 years old. And believe it or not, see that tower up there? That was like one of the highest points on the entire island when we were here back in the day. And man, has that changed. Yeah, so this is just a great place to hang out, get dinner, chillax. Bought a book here yesterday with the ash. A plus book. Thank you, James Patterson. Uh, yeah, so we're just grabbing a quick bite to eat and then we'll be heading back out there on the boat. I said was the highest point that used to be it I think it's like see that's a three-story building maybe it's a six-story building yeah that's not the case anymore let's join the rest of the family for lunch and then let's head back out on the boat As you can tell, we made it across the choppy water. It's mighty wavy, definitely got wet. And we are here, uh, I don't know what this area is called here in Cayman. All I know is there are some massive houses. I mean, this thing's just a building. It's crazy. There's nice houses all over the place in here. Definitely pretty fun to explore where we'll eventually have a home. Nah, maybe not. Oh, Ashley turned around with that one. Ashley, do you agree? <laughs> yeah. We'll probably be buying this place in like a year or two. It's probably coming in at 35 million. Look at those boats. Ashley and I are actually now on the island alone, and we are at, Ashley, please tell us. Wait, we I are, can't hear you. We are at Queen Elizabeth <laughs> II's Botanical Garden. Wow, out here wandering the Botanical Garden, because what kind of video would this be if there weren't plants involved? Landscapers, so, so that's what we're doing. We're checking out some plants. Here, let me show no, 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 for my no. hand in comparison. Bite you. Does he He's, bite? I don't know. He could be poisonous. He's got a red head. He <laughs> looks wild. He's <laughs> going crazy. This is a green iguana. Oh, hi. All right, something pretty cool that we just noticed is there are parrots here. I'm looking for them. Where are, oh, right there. Oh, one's right in. 
He's right on top of us. He's looking at us. <laughs> Ran into this big guy. Holy cow. This is one of the blue iguanas. And you can see he is one big boy. What a prehistoric looking thing. We're gonna show you guys Seven Mile Beach because can you really go to Grand Cayman without seeing Seven Mile Beach? After all, that is what it's known for. So we're gonna wander across the island and then we'll see you over there. So what some people don't know about Cayman is their population is like 60th, 60-ish thousand. And uh, every once in a while, well, I should say a couple times a week, all these cruise ships come in. So for example, today, there's 11,000 people that get brought onto the island from the hours of essentially 8 a.m. to about 4 p.m. It's kind of crazy because it greatly changes the population, but a lot of them stay over here. This has kind of been built for all the tourists that come off of the boats. And they have like drop-off points on the beaches and at some other locations throughout the island. But it's pretty wild to see how massive those ships are out there because they are by far the biggest thing on the entire island. This is Grand Cayman Seven Mile Beach. It's really five and a half miles, but it wraps all the way right over there. One thing I wanted to share with all of you guys is Ashley and I, two years ago, started uh, collecting sand at all the places we visit and marking what beach it was in the dates so we can have like a really cool sand collection someday and like mason jars that we can look at and be like, wow, look at how different all the sand is. So if you're wondering what Ashley was doing, uh, she is gathering our sand. Every sand, like every beach seems to be a little different. Someday, I'm sure we'll make a video on it. Yeah, we gather this, we ship it back to America with us, and then what do we do? Dry it out? Dry it out, put it in this jar, and label it. Boom! That's simple. We're gonna go enjoy the rest of our trip out here. It's so like always, thanks for joining us. We appreciate all of you. And uh, we'll see you in Arizona. <laughs>